While playing classic hardcore, I had a fun idea. What if we obtained the Prairie Chicken secret chicken pet from an Alliance-only questline on a level 1 Horde character? I would need to brave the likes of Alliance territory in zones that are much higher level than I would be on a hardcore server, and it would require some extra planning since normally this pet is Alliance exclusive. So how did I do it? Well, let's dive in. Hey there, Rotan here. I make to the point videos about World of Warcraft, helping people obtain collectibles, cosmetics, and mounts that they want easily and quickly. If that sounds like a fun time, subscribe. The short version of how to get this pet is to use the slash chicken emote a bunch of times on a chicken and give it a specific feed from a farmer in Westfall. So first I had to make an alliance character and get in position. I made a rogue and started to run him over to Westfall making sure I had 25 copper in my pocket so I could actually buy the feed from the farmer. I made a macro on the way to make clucking at chickens easier, and then it took me a while to actually run over to Westfall. There's going to be a lot of running and travel in my future. I made it there and I got the feed. I clucked at the chicken until I got the quest cluck from the chicken. So now it was time to log off and get my horde character in position. Now this is where things get fun. There's essentially two routes that I can take as horde to make it to Westfall. The first is to run from the Valley of Trials to Theramore Isle in Duskwallow Marsh to sneak aboard the boat there to Menethil Harbor in the Wetlands. From here, it's a trudge through the Wetlands and Loch Modan and Dunmoreau to get into Ironforge, where I would need to sneak in to take the tram to Stormwind and then sneak out of Stormwind into Elwyn and then into Westfall. The second and much safer route is to take the boat from Ratchet to Booty Bay and swim through the water all the way up through Stranglethor Vale until we hit Westfall. I wanted some fun, so I went for the first route. I made a rogue and realized I couldn't stealth at level 1, so I had to level to level 2. So unfortunately that meant at this point, no level 1 chicken. Bummer. So I got stealth and decided to begin making the trek. I left the Valley of Trials, hooked a right, and hopped into the water to begin a long swim all the way down to Theramore Isle. I had to make sure while swimming to watch out for sharks and other creatures in the water. There were a few stops along the way, and I kept getting the feeling that I really shouldn't be out here but I pressed on. Eventually, I could see Theramore on my right and the dock I needed to get to in the distance. I knew I was getting close to my first challenge, getting on the boat. I crept up on shore and entered stealth. In the distance, I could see some guards by the tower and so I tried to sneak past them. Unfortunately, level 1 stealth, or I guess level 2 stealth, is horrible and I was seen right away. Though I tried to swim as fast as I could, it was no use and I died. So here we are on attempt number two, and this time my girlfriend decided to come along. Once again, some shark dodging action was needed while swimming, and I figured I needed to take the second route now through Ratchet. With how far the guards noticed me in stealth, there was no way I was sneaking through Ironforge and Stormwind undetected. So we found our way to the shores of Ratchet just as the boat we needed to board docked. I was afraid it would leave us stranded for a little while, so I made a run for it. I made it on successfully, and luckily my girlfriend did too. All right, it's time to head to Booty Bay, which means we're nearly to the Eastern Kingdoms. Once in Booty Bay, we jumped off the boat and began to swim again. This leg of swimming would be our longest by far. However, the rain while swimming made a nice ambiance as we both traveled for nearly 15 minutes by sea. Still, we had to keep our eyes open for nasty critters in the water. Finally, we crossed over into Westfall, but our swimming journey wasn't over quite yet. The south of Westfall is far too dangerous for us. So about midway up, we decided to come ashore and find our way to the farm on foot. Once we were off the beach, we entered stealth and I began to realize how dangerous this would be with all these enemies surrounding us. Stealth let me down again and we were quickly struck down by enemies who saw through our poor attempts at sneaking. So on my third attempt, I actually managed to make it ashore from the very north and found my way to the farm. This chicken right here is in the perfect position, far enough away so Alliance NPCs won't get me. I just have to watch out for coyotes as I log out. Now is the moment of truth. Back on my Alliance character, I ran over to the chicken and I clucked at it for a minute, forgetting that all I needed to do at this point was use slash cheer at it. Right as I remembered this, this coyote came running over and my heart rate spiked. I thought I was a goner. Fortunately, it killed the neighboring chicken and then ran away and went about its business. Hesitantly, I approached the chicken to turn in the quest, and I waited to confirm that the lootable egg was indeed placed on the floor, and that meant it was go time. 
I tabbed into another WoW application I had open so I could instantly log into my Horde Rogue. I spam right clicked, accidentally murdering the chicken, sorry chicken, and as I looted the egg I saw the coyote in the distance and my fear returned. As soon as I was able to actually loot the egg I decided the best move was to run away and hearth to safety before celebrating. Thanks Rogue Tan, you really helped me out. <sighs> Safe, home in the Valley of Trials, and on a level 1 rogue no less. I summoned my chicken and my quest was over. A prairie chicken, a mostly alliance exclusive secret companion obtained on a level 1 horde character on a hardcore server. Why? Because I could, and it was worth it. So there we go, thanks for watching and good luck getting your own chicken if you attempt this. And until next time, take care.